Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. I've been doing some collection videos lately uh, because basically the 4K reviews have been slow. There isn't a lot coming out and there isn't a lot to review. I did recently review uh, both Alien and the Lego Movie 2, but those are the most recent movies that I've picked up. So until I get more, I'm gonna keep doing collection videos. And one thing I realized that I haven't done, I've done room tours, I've done sort of these home theater updates about the movie Room, but I haven't done a complete collection video. And so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go through every title in my collection. I've got over 2,200 titles. So we're gonna really blow through them. Imagine 2,200 titles. I did the math on this. If I spent five seconds on each movie, that would be three hours in seven minutes is what the math was. If I spent five seconds on every movie, this would be a three hour and seven minute video and nobody's gonna watch that. So we're gonna just run through sort of sections. I'll talk about a few titles, but you will get to see every single title in the collection in this video. I just won't be personally pulling out each and every one off the shelf because I don't have three hours, you don't have three hours, and that would be ridiculous. One thing I will ask is if you can keep sharing these videos and keep subscribing. Uh, after my last video, we got a ton of new subscribers and I'm now about a thousand away from 10,000, which was always the goal to get to 10,000 by the summer. And so if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody who watches these videos, but really I'm setting that goal at 10,000 and that's really where I wanna be, and so I'd appreciate any new viewers, anybody who loves my videos, hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. Now, without further ado, that's out of the way. Let's jump into the collection. I'm gonna start with this shelf right behind me, and we'll go so, from there. So, one thing you should know about my collection right before we get started, stuff is sorted by genre, and uh, I've done sort of special groupings of certain movies, but they're not sorted alphabetically. I just sort of know where stuff is at this point. So. On the top row here, we've got all my Scream Factory. I actually need to ship this one out as a giveaway winner. Uh, that needs to go out soon, but uh, we've got great stuff. The Thing is a favorite of mine. Sleepaway Camps are great. Uh, Black Christmas, Bubba Hotep, The Burning, Baba Duke. Um, I've got all Scream Factory, Show Factory stuff along the top row here. Then as we move down, I've got all my Arrow video. So Audition is a new title. Uh, this is really good. It was out of print for a long time, so I'm happy that Arrow put it out. Um, Society is a good one. Brain Damage is a really good one. Killer Clowns I reviewed for the channel. Uh, and then some of their older stuff like uh, Black Mama, White Mama, Shiba Baby, um, Donnie Darko, The Stuff, some of their Japanese uh, kung fu movies are really cool. Then we get into the Vinegar Syndrome stuff, uh, which is some really kind of cult horror movies. Um, there's some good stuff in this collection though, like Ice Cream Man is great, um, Jack Frost is a really good one, Don't Answer the Phone is a creepy uh, slasher movie, so that's cool. Um, and then I have a couple of the MVD classics, these sort of got started and I collected a couple but never finished. Um, and then the Vestron video series, which is another one I haven't heard about in a long time, so maybe it's dead, but I do have a lot of their titles. Uh, and then some Kino stuff, Nosferatu, Dr. Caligari, uh, Rawhead Rex. One from 88 Films in the UK, Alice Sweet Alice, doesn't have a US release, so I bought it from the UK. And then just more horror movies. So this is where we just get into general horror. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. More general horror here, as you can see. And I do have some A24 titles that are hanging around. I'll show you those in a second. Um, but I'm running out of room on the shelf, basically. Uh, Maniac is a really good one from Blue Underground. It has a really cool uh, slip cover. That's a great 4K transfer. Uh, it got cool stuff like the original uh, It, uh, Wolfman Collection, uh, Army of Darkness, of course, uh, Split, Train to Busan. This is a great movie. If you haven't seen it, uh, I recommend this one. It's a great zombie movie. Uh, then some more horror there and another A24 title because my A24 collection, which I did a video on, is on these two shelves, um, and I'm sort of running out of room. So now they're ending up you know, here, there's one over here, but um, this is the vast majority of them. Got a little Terminator head here, that came with Terminator Genesis Blu-ray. 
I've got Awesome Mix Volume 2 and Awesome Mix Volume 1 cassette tapes. Uh, I got those at Urban Outfitters, and they both are real cassette tapes. Uh, and then some 4K overflow titles here. Jack Ryan 5 Film Collection is really good. Um, more horror here. Um, some good stuff like Hatchet, uh, Paranormal Activity, um, The Fourth Kind. This is a really, really scary movie. Unfortunately, I had a, a tag on it. I couldn't get off, but um, super creepy movie. The Insidious movies are in here. I've got my Halloween collection. So Halloween, two, three, four, five, six producers cut. This has, um, yeah, H20, uh, six theatrical cut and resurrection. And then the two Rob Zombie movies. Uh, I've got Dead Alive on DVD still. I keep this over here because the Blu-ray is super expensive. And I just uh, had on the DVD for, for cheap. I found it for a really good deal. Um, and then after the horror, surprisingly enough, we jump right into Disney. So here's all my Disney Pixar with slip covers. Uh, there's some really good titles in here. Tangled, uh, 3D is a good one. The two Tron movies with slip covers. Lion King, uh, Big Hero 6. This has the uh, lenticular slip cover from uh, Best Buy. So that's a, a kind of hard one to find these days. Uh, then Zootopia. This was a Target exclusive. So that's kind of a cool one. Um, and then into some more of the Disney classics with Bambi, Beauty and the Beast, Peter Pan. Now I've got more Disney Pixar down here. Cinderella, the 4K of Coco. Classics, Lady and the Tramp, Jungle Book, Dumbo, Sleeping Beauty, all, all the standards. I've got most of the Disney stuff. Um, then I also have Beauty and the Beast's um, 25th Anniversary Edition. Um, so that's cool. And then more Disney here. Some Disney Movie Club titles, which you can only get through the Disney Movie Club, like D2, The Mighty Ducks. Also have uh, Peach Dragon, The First Mighty Ducks. I have D3. I have Cool Runnings. Um, they do some cool stuff there through the Disney Movie Club. Then I've got my Studio uh, Ghibli titles here. Uh, and then I go into basically just the rest of my sort of kid family movies. Uh, some animated stuff. Stuff like uh, Casper. Batman, Paddington, um, all the way over to How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Paddington 2, all that stuff. A couple more down here just as overflow of kids' movies, and then I jump into Marvel. So I got Doctor Strange, the Hulk with the, um, the green case. If I can get this out of the way. This is a pretty cool one. I was able to find one with the, with the green case at an FYE used. I uh, got the Avengers, Ant-Man, Captain America, Guardians 2, 4K, uh, Ultron, uh, 3D, Thor, Avengers Infinity War. Then I got my Deadpool movies, all my Star Wars movies, and then I jump right into 4K. So you've seen most of my 4K collection, but this just gives you uh, another idea of all the 4K titles I do have. I have a very good collection of 4K titles. Um, I think probably one of the larger ones right now, just with the sheer amount oops sorry sheer amount of titles that i do have a lot of these come in for uh review so that's how i end up with them but you know not many people have this many 4k titles already in their collection uh and then i do have some more overflow this was sitting up here as overflow and there are even like i said there were more 4k up here and there are more 4k over on the other side of the room on those shelves too that we'll get to so I really do have one of the larger 4K collections, I would say. There's, I believe, 150 4K titles that I currently own. So now we're over in the other corner of the room. Uh, I guess real quick, I just have my horror stuff here, some autographs, uh, Jason Mask, uh, and then my classics, Freddy, Leatherface, Michael Myers. You've seen those before, but I'll get into the movies. Um, so these became, this shelf here became sort of an overflow. I got trash here, but this became sort of an overflow. So there's a ton of different titles here. Got the Stranger Things VHS. Um, there's actually um, some Twilight movies in there. America, The Story of Us. The Hills Have Eyes 2, which is really good. A couple seasons of It's Always Sunny. Um, and then, uh, you know, there's some random uh, titles up here as well. Uh, Cult of Chucky, Fifty Shades Freed. Also have my signed uh, Halloween Digibook, 35th Anniversary Blu-ray. This was signed by John Carpenter, so that's one of my favorite pieces in the collection. I keep it front and center on this shelf. Uh, I've got Hannibal, the complete series. I've got the OJ Made in America documentary. Uh, there's even some Arrow video up here. What have they done to our daughters? Uh, Page Master, 
Uh, and then I've got uh, the Battle Royale. This is a really cool set. Um, this is the Battle Royale um, sort of four disc out of print uh, Blu-ray set. Battle Royale is basically a Japanese Hunger Games, but much more violent. So that's why I like it. It's more realistic. Um, and then some History Channel stuff as well. Moving down, got some great movies in here. This is where I have my uh, Scorsese 3 pack. You got Phantom Thread, Minority Report. Uh, Training Day is one of my favorites. So this is, like I said, just kind of an overflow when I pick things up. I have the Friday the 13th out of print tin. Um, so that's a really hard one to find. Black Hawk Down Blu-ray Essentials with the slip cover. Hoping to get that in 4K and review that. Uh, Glory. Got Westworld Season 1, Steelbook, 4K. Um, some more titles back here behind that. And then I've got this pretty cool release of Venom. Uh, regardless of what you thought of the movie, pretty cool to get a, a Blu-ray release like this. I'll, I'll pop it open for you real quick because I don't think a lot of people saw this. Um, but it's kind of cool. It just has like this cool artwork on the inside and then you pull out the discs from the sides. Uh, Amazon had that for 12 bucks on release day, so I picked it up. Um, and then some more titles here, uh, basically movies everywhere guys, but that gives you a look. Backdraft is another one I, I'm hoping to get the 4K of. Um, so that's that shelf. Now we can move that trash over, we'll jump down here. Uh, got the Lego movie, uh, I believe this was a Target exclusive 3D, I can't remember for sure. Um, have The Wire complete series, uh, Black Sails the complete series. Uh, some documentaries here, Woodstock, uh, World War II in HD, The Wolf Pack. This is a great documentary if you like movies. These Basically, these six brothers, they create like their own movies in their house, and they've got a really weird family story, and very interesting. Uh, i got Twilight Zone, the complete series. Also have uh, more TV shows down here. I've got The League. I've got Vice Principals. I've got some documentaries. Um, and then again, I've got Westworld Season 2 on 4K. Uh, some more documentaries here, including Baraka, which is great. Documentary Now is a great show. Uh, if you haven't seen that, Bill Hader and Fred Armisen. If you like documentaries, you'll think this is funny. Uh, and then I've got Miami Vice, the complete series, and the Hunger Games complete uh, series. So that sort of rounds out this shelf. Like I said, kind of a random uh, overflow uh, type shelf, but... I know where stuff is and um, that's all that matters, right? So now this next section, which is next to this uh, shelf, this is mostly DVDs, but kind of cool stuff. So I do want to show you. Uh, for instance, I have the first 100 episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants. I have the complete series of The Shield on Blu-ray. Uh, Nathan For You complete series on DVD. Uh, Going to Pieces, a cool horror documentary. Crank Yankers, some Chris Farley, um, some more DVD documentaries from Mill Creek, some Warner Brothers animation stuff, cool stuff there. Um, also have Robot Chicken Season 1. I have Primer on DVD, which is <clears throat> notoriously hard to find, um, but I have that. I have The Office, some more SNL, Beavis and Butthead complete series, some Fox Cinema Archives, Jackass, the complete movie, and TV collection, my old DVD of Audition, which I just showed you uh, the Blu-ray of, some South Park, Andy Milanakis, just some cool stuff on DVD. And then moving on down, I got my Nickelodeon shows. So I got Ren and Stimpy, Hey Arnold, Doug, the complete series, Ah Real Monsters, the complete series, Angry Beavers, and Rocco's Modern Life, complete series. Then some Always Sunny in Philadelphia, the IT Crowd, uh, complete series, some more horror movies, Arrested Development, uh, some more documentaries. And then on the bottom, I actually have some Blu-ray box sets. So Nightmare on Elm Street, Batman, Godfather, Rocky, uh, Game of Thrones, the sixth season, I believe. Alfred Hitchcock set, all the Star Trek movies, Oceans, Chucky, uh, some more South Park, some Family Guy, Harry Potter. Uh, and then down in the corner, you can see uh, Band of Brothers, The Pacific, as well as Rescue Me, the complete series on Blu-ray from Mill Creek, and uh, Community, the complete series on Blu-ray. Hard to see, and then I have a uh, special from Everything Blue, Hot Fuzz Steelbook, um, and just some more box sets down here. So this one's a little bit of a sort of smorgasbord of movies and, and DVDs and stuff. Also have Ten Commandments, 
box set. Got some books, uh, Watchmen, uh, Lord of the Rings, Stephen King books. So just kind of a lot of stuff ends up over uh, in this also, right here is my signed copy of the script for The Night of the Living Dead. Signed by George Romero and John Russo, the screenwriter. So um, that's a that's a cool limited edition copy of a script that I have. All right, guys. So we were over in this corner of the room. Now we're heading over to this corner of the room. And this shelf right here is all um, what I would consider action drama. So... Top row, you'll see things like Nebraska, Night of the Grizzly, The Sting. This is a great classic movie. Uh, the Sting is great. Nebraska is really good. Um, Olive collection of Macbeth. Um, little Best Picture winner and an A24 title. That should actually be over on the other side. Um, they Shall Not Grow Old. I just got this in. The UK release of that, but um, it is region free. Uh, some Batman movies over here. E.T., uh, I got the Dirty Harry 4 pack. That's a really good one. Then I have some more Best Picture winners. Grand Hotel Steelbook's pretty cool. Bridge on the River Kwai. Uh, Ch -ch 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 Brooklyn's a great movie. Three Identical Strangers. If you haven't seen this documentary, check it out. It is remarkable. Uh, Feel the Dreams, Lion, Darkest Hour, Slow West is one of my favorite westerns underrated movie if you get a chance definitely check that one out it's another a24 that should be over on the other side too uh captain fantastic is great <clears throat> on to the next row we got stuff like uh imperium's really cool movie uh sicario of course safe house southpaw um the salesman is actually really good it's an iranian movie won the academy award for best foreign language film um, Anthropoid, What Men Want is a new release that I just got in. Uh, Shot Caller, actually, wow. Oh no, it's not an A24, sorry, I thought it was. But Shot Caller is really good. If you like Jamie Lannister, he's awesome in this movie. Um, yeah, Avatar, uh, 300, Lords of Dogtown, um, stuff like that. Then as we move down, we got some Funkos here. I got a Night King. Um, we got a Deadpool, got some horror guys. A um, couple comedies now we start to work in. Uh, comedy shelves on the other side, but I did keep this middle section uh, for basically comedies. So I had overflow. Um, and then we're back it, in on the bottom section with uh, more drama. You got stuff like Creed. Um, we got Gone Girl, Social Network, uh, Commando. Um, Looper's in here, Dust Till Dawn, Jackie Brown, Spider-Man Homecoming, that should be over in the Marvel section, I'll have to switch that later, uh, The Act of Killing, Eight Mile, Ender's Game, some cool stuff, more drama here, a couple of, um, uh, what do you call it, Twilight Time titles, Manchester by the Sea, uh, Exodus, Two Guns, The Revenant, Fences, the Third Man, this is a cool one. This is a Criterion out of print. I got the Studio Canal uh, UK version. It's region free. Great transfer on it though. Uh, more A24, First Reform, Most Violent Year, Paul 13, Atomic Blonde. Um, and then more stuff down here, more dramas, American Hustle, Birdman, um, The Villainous, Les Mis, my dog's going nuts. Um, also, just got this in, Wild Thornberry's DVD. That should be over in the other section. I'll move that. And then the last row here of, uh, this is where it starts to break into uh, more comedies, which are what is on the other shelf. So, um, got a Marilyn Monroe pack here, uh, Ghostbusters, uh, Zombieland, stuff like that. Now over here, really quick, because you just saw these in a video, this is the Criterion Collection shelf. Um, if you want to see the full breakdown of Criterion movies that I have, definitely go check out my Criterion Collection update, but I'll do this really quickly. I've got about, um, I'd say 75 titles here on this shelf, but one of my favorite, uh, shelves in the collection for sure. Such great artwork. Looks great on a shelf. Um, I love the Criterion Collection. I don't know what now else Now on this shelf, we have actually some sports stuff. I'm a huge Boston sports fan, so I've got all the different World Series and Super Bowl sets and... Stuff about the Celtics, um, the different World Series sets. Those are actually from Shout Factory, Stanley Cup champions, uh, Celtics, Band of Bearded Brothers. Some great stuff there. Um, but that's pretty much it for that small section. 
with the rest of my sports uh, memorabilia. Actually, this is a cool one. This is signed by Mickey Ward, the fighter. If you like the movie, the fighter, uh, boxing glove signed by him. And then ESPN's 30 for 30. Now in collection. this corner, it gets a little dark, so bear with me, but I've got all my digibooks here. Some more 4K titles, Matrix, Superman, uh, uh, some animated DC, Twilight, stuff like that. Um, got some Mill Creek titles here, some of the cool VHS uh, artwork, especially this one, super cool. Uh, Harry Crumb, that's a cool one with John Candy. Uh, so these are some more newer movies that I've recently got in. They kind of end up over here for now. Like you can see the first Purge is here. Ant-Man vs. Wasp is here, Jigsaw, lots of 4K, a couple 4K IMAX titles, uh, and then some more stuff down the bottom, um, but it's pretty much a mixed bag. First Man 4K, Halloween 4K, um, Burning, sorry, there's some stuff in the way, um, Widows, The Hate You Give, Goosebumps 4K, stuff like Shelf that. Next to that, that's where um, I have a couple uh, dramas in here and action movies, but this is mostly comedy, as you can see, Slapshot, Teen Wolf, uh, Grown Ups 2, Borat, The Big Short, uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, The Big Sick, um, and then there's some drama mixed in, like I said, but Hot Tub Time Machine, um, Hardcore Henry, the Fast and Furious movies are over here, uh, more drama down here mixed with comedy, and then on the bottom shelf, um, some more comedy titles, stuff like Daddy's Home, um, Snatched, Old School, Hot Rod, um, the, the Hobbit movies down here, Gremlins is down here. It's kind of a mixed bag over in this corner of the room with these three shelves, just because that is um, where I kind of keep overflow right now until I get another shelf to put next to this. Um, but more comedy here, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, Dodgeball, uh, Anchorman, Juno, Mastermind, Fist Fight, Lars and the Real Girl, Sausage Party's over here, Barton Fink's a cool one, Pop Star's great. The Hangover Trilogy, uh, Love Actually, Zoolander 2, which is garbage. Um, and then some more A24 titles. We've got Lady Bird, Schindler's List, Magic Mike, Hut Fuzz, Waterboy, Liar Liar, Get Hard. Uh, and then down here is really where I've just been keeping overflow stuff. So these are some new uh, review titles. It might be hard to see there because the lighting is just terrible when I get down here. But um, these are some of the more recent ones I've gotten in. Stuff like Mandy. Um, Life of the Party, Crazy Rich Asians, uh, The Meg, you know, recent titles that I reviewed and, and they've, they're taken out of my review pile and they basically end up here in overflow. And last but not least, I have this shelf over here. Again, lighting is tough, but I've got my Arrow video box sets, um, stuff like the American Horror Project, Hellraiser, uh, Last House on the Left. There's some cool stuff there. Autographed copy of The Room Blu-ray from Tommy Wiseau. And then some more box sets. So I've got the Batman animated series. That's the Breaking Bad Barrel set. Uh, Avengers Phase 1, which is really cool. Lights up uh, in the middle. Got some 80s stuff. The Dark Knight trilogy. Rambo, James Dean, Bourne. Uh, the Matrix, Leprechaun, Clint Eastwood, Toy Story. Uh, Sleepaway Camp. Got a cool Star Wars VHS. And then some more box sets, Tim Burton, Alien, Universal Monsters, stuff like that. And then down here, this is um, Pirates of the Caribbean box set. Let's see if I can... I forget how to open this one. You know what? I'll leave it. Car the Pirates of the Caribbean box set, though, has all the Blu-rays in it. Um, got all my steelbooks kind of hidden back here, too. I used to really collect the steelbooks, and now I've gotten away from them. Um, but they are all still stacked over here. Got my Halloween vinyl record, and then bigger box sets. The Herzog Collection from Shell Factory, um, the Batman Original series with Adam West, uh, Singing in the Rain, and then a JFK box set, which is out of print, and that's a pretty cool one too. So um, that's that's pretty much this shelf. There's a little Death Star here, um, just some cool stuff. This is a pretty cool picture too, um, but I keep that stuff sort of over on this side with the steel books. And then that is pretty much the collection. This was the last corner. Um, we did that corner. We did this big shelf here. We did the small shelf. We did the Criterion shelf. And then I believe we covered everything. I got this shelf here, showed you all the DVD overflow and showed you the horror and Disney and Marvel and 4K shelf, which is, this is definitely the centerpiece of the collection. 
Um, and then here's where like some new stuff ends up, like the kid would be king. Uh, I just got this in. I haven't watched it yet. The fear footage, uh, Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse, Lego Movie 2, which I just reviewed. I bought Handmaid's Tale and I bought the new Red Sox World Series set. Um, so this is sort of where new stuff ends up. Star is Born, Aquaman 4K. Basically, I've got to go through this pile here and figure out where it fits in this room. But um, that's sort of the easy part, right? I just need some more shelves. I'll definitely be getting some more of these little shelves here that you see. I can probably fit one, maybe two more back here. And I can also fit another one behind the projector here, as well as, sorry, behind the projector screen and behind the projector screen here. So I should be able to do one, two, and then possibly three, four more. And each one of those holds 125. So that gets me covered for the next 500 Blu-ray. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's the entire collection just in a short, shortened version. Because like I said, it would be at least three hours if I pulled out every single title. But that does give you a view into what a... 2200 plus blu-ray and dvd collection looks like so hopefully that was interesting for you hopefully you uh found some new movies you want got some ideas on storage if you have ideas for storage for me please let me know because as you know this room is not super big and my collection's only getting bigger by the day and i'm getting more equipment and more other stuff so um if you have any ideas on storage you know let me know these shelves are from atlantic media um right here the link will be down in the description if you're interested in these big shelves. Um, these are really nice. These hold like, I want to say 650 Blu-rays. So between this one and the one I have on the other side of the room, that's more than half my collection on two shelves. So that's really cool. So there will be a link down in the description to those. Um, and like I said, just remember, subscribe, like this video, comment, share it with your friends, keep the love going. Um, and we got about 1,000 more to 10K. So I appreciate everybody. Keep sharing, keep spreading the good word. Um, hopefully this kind of filled in those who were curious about the collection, not so much the movie room, but just the collection as a whole. Uh, there were a lot of questions about, can you do a full collection video? Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, but otherwise, you know, let me know. Let me know if you have any I other ideas for videos. I'm always reading the comments and, and trying to get good ideas from you guys, see what you wanna see. Um, but yeah, other than that, hope everyone has a great week and uh, I'll see you guys later.